Welcome to part three of my Give Me God of War mode tutorial for God of War 2018. And uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll, these two scenarios were fucking hard, so I may have to take back what I said about it being a little too easy on this mode compared to Titan on God of War 2. But we have yet to see, but these two encounters took me around 45 minutes, so it was no fucking joke. It's definitely not fucking around at this point. So I'll try to break down um, my strategies for that. So yeah, you will be fighting a lot of enemies in this scenario. So definitely expect that. As usual, I try to keep my distance with axe throws and you know do the damage I can from far away with that because they seem sometimes to focus on the, uh, the little shit. So you can take advantage of that for a little while and then you know deal with them as they get close. Mix in a little barehanded combat, whatever, uh, whatever floats your boat, you know. And I took a hit there, which is not good, but there is some health that I will be getting later. I, it's, I'll show where that's at. It's around the corner. And it's good to know about that because, you know, it's very easy to take a hit when you're fighting these guys for a long fucking period of time because it's a long fight. You may get some health drops from enemies, but, you know, you can't always rely on that. So yeah, pretty standard for what we've been dealing with so far at this point. But yeah, it'll definitely get fucking hard, I can promise that. In this video. And now this guy will be easy to eliminate since it's only him. You can just take your time, throw the axe at him. It's going to get hard to the point where it's going to be hard to explain any kind of exploits or anything like that. It's going to get to the point where, you know, I, I think you just have to be good at the game and, and be good at the mechanics because you get you get overwhelmed by enemies. So um, I'll explain what I can, but it's also just going to come down to playing and just improving. Which, you know, there's no rush. Just take your time. You know, if you can't beat a checkpoint in a few hours, you know, just remember that when you plug in time, you're still making progress, even if you don't make visible progress, you know, moving to another checkpoint, practice always adds up. So just try to have the mentality and get in that zone and just sit there and plug in the time. And, you know, eventually you will, you will beat these types of modes. You just have to, you just have to look at it as putting in work, just put in the time and, and don't be obsessed with trying to clear the checkpoint, you know, just just keep playing it, put the time in, and, and it'll, it'll come together. So, yeah, now for this, um, kill that projectile guy. He, he doesn't have a lot of health. You know, you want I, I try to eliminate projectile guys first because then I can deal with the, uh, the regular melee type of enemies much easier because I don't have to worry about fireballs fucking hitting me while I'm trying to fight. So at that point, I can kind of, you know, try to take my time, move around, throw axes at the guys, run around the arena. It's a big area. So utilize that. And, you know, just try to take your time and play carefully. Don't get reckless. Because it's such a long fight, you know, trying to fight these guys up close and, and do more dangerous um, combat, you know, could end up being a problem because, you know, you're going to be playing this part for a while. So, you know, any hits you take can be a big problem. Because, as I said, you can, you know, you die on the third hit at this point in the game pretty much. So you can really only take... Uh, you know, two hits. The third is the third will kill you. But like I said, there is some health that you can get. There's one health pickup, and um, sometimes the enemies do drop some some health. So, you know, but it's not a lot. It gives you very little. So, but see, I'm just kind of fucking around, hanging out over here, throwing the axe at these guys. And you know, I'd recommend trying to you know trying to do that, trying to thin them, thin out their life, and try to kill the ones that are low on health. You know, fin finish them off. Because, you know, the more you have coming up close to you, it makes it much harder. When you get swarmed by, like, you know, multiple enemies, it gets tough. So. so one thing that fucks me up a lot of times is I press the analog sticks kind of hard. So sometimes I'll use God mode accidentally. I think, I think that's what I just did there because I pressed the sticks kind of hard. I also lock on all the time, which fucks me up because I hate lock on. I would like to actually disable it. Because personally, I never use lock-on. I like to be able to move around freely and target on my own. I don't even use it in the Souls games. I just I never liked lock-on in these kind of games. I like to control, um, you know, who I'm attacking 
myself, I don't like to lock on to an enemy. Well, I'm sure, you know, it may be useful in some scenarios, but when I'm being swarmed by enemies, I don't really want to lock on. Now, here I use this rock as cover because the fireballs can't hit me here. So, I definitely utilize that because if I get hit once, I'm dead. And then when I feel like I have some time to come out, I start focusing on throwing the axe at those guys. Now, you can also use Atreus's arrows, too. You can probably kill that guy faster than I did here by using some of his arrows. But I was just kind of doing it quick because I didn't feel like I had a lot of time to fuck around and throw shit at him, you know. So, I got in a hit and I just got the fuck out. I didn't want to play around in there too long. You know, it's pretty fucking dangerous to be in that area. But yeah, now staying behind the rock. Do as much damage as I can with axe throws and arrows. And um, if a guy does come around a rock, you know, you just you deal with it normally. And then you just get the fuck out of the area. Maybe run over to where the fireball guy is, throw another axe at him. Because I couldn't hit him from over here with the axe. I probably should have used more arrow. But, uh... And now there's another, um... I believe that's another projectile guy. So... Um, that may be why I'm taking him out. I'm not sure if, if he was one of them. But definitely, whenever the projectile guys show up, I recommend getting rid of them immediately. Because, you know, if you're focusing on another guy, you're not going to really... Um... Be aware of a fireball coming at your ass. You know, you're, you're not going to see it unless you're directly facing a guy with the projectile, and they move around a lot, so, you know, it's definitely about prioritizing. Your targets can make these modes a lot easier, so, you know, you want to have a strategy. You don't just want to fight anyone who's in your way. It's a lot harder if you, if, you don't, if you don't plan a little bit. Yeah, so, basically, I'm, I'm I've been taking it easy. I mean, it's been fucking intense, but I'm, I'm, keep, I'm staying back. I'm trying to take these assholes out. I think this may I think I, I think this may have been beaten this sequence. This was a tough this was definitely a tough part. This was the toughest part up until this point in the game for me. And uh, the next part is a lot harder than this. So you know Be prepared, boys and girls. It definitely gets hard. And I, I edited it in that black screen because I, I wanted to show that I was, you know, at a different area since they can look similar. So this is the next combat sequence, which consists of one fucking enemy. But it is, you know, I included it because it is combat in this mode that you have to do. You really can't. I don't think you can skip enemies in any parts in the game. They force you to fight everything. So you can't, like, run past enemies and open doors like you couldn't, you know, some games you can do that. And I would definitely be doing that. But then again, it is good to get the experience points on a mode like this to get your guys stronger, I guess. Yeah, so this is, pretty, this is a very easy fight, you know. If you can't beat this guy after overcoming all that shit, then um, I don't even know what to say. That would, be, that would be bizarre. Okay, so here's the next sequence, which you saw transition the box. Now, this is very fucking hard. But I do have some tips. My first tip here was to insert as many of these fucking assholes into that pit as possible. See, I put two of them in there immediately. Use your launcher attack and get them in the air and then use your R1 hits to knock them into those pits. And hang out near the edge so that they'll come uh, by you. You know what I mean? So that you can... Now, he got stuck against the wall here, but um, I think, he, yeah, he goes in. And you can only get the lighter guys and weaker guys into the pit, but they still take a long fucking time to kill if you don't do this, so... You know, utilize the environment and get get him in that fucking pit. You also have your your new L1 and R1 move when you hold both buttons, which can sometimes knock guys back into like a pit, I think, too. But most of the time, the most reliable way is you know parry, block, and use that heavy attack to get those guys in the air and and get him in that fucking pit as fast as possible. And do not use your rage for for my strategy anyway. Don't use your rage until. Um, this hard fireball throwing enemy come see now he just came out I, th I believe see the purple guy with the purple health bar he's a fireball throwing asshole I saved my rage for him and I also did it so that all the other guys were grouped closely together so I could hurt them as well so try to do that when they come out and the reason I say take out that fireball asshole is because one he has a lot of fucking health and two he'll be throwing fireballs at you the whole time along with these two assholes on the top that throw fireballs down at you. So you'll have three guys throwing fireballs at you if you don't take care of that asshole. So I recommend saving your rage and using it on him if you have it available. 
And then here what I have to do, or what I did for my strategy, is I make runs in a circular motion, and I run back, and I try to throw an axe at those guys. Then I get the fuck out. Now, you see there's some health here. I picked those up so I can, um, you know, have a better chance to survive. Now I'm on fire, which is not good. This is, like I said, it's very fucking frustrating and hard part. So don't get frustrated. Just, uh, you know, try to just keep at it. You'll beat it. So I got one of those fire-throwing uh, assholes. Now, I probably should have used more of the Atreus arrows. I probably could have took him out sooner. But what I was doing here was pretty much running laps and dodging the fireballs and then throwing the axe immediately. Usually I'd get in one hit of the axe, I'd get the fuck out because the other guys would be on my ass and I didn't want to take a hit while I was trying to throw the axe at the guy. So I just try to get that axe in him, you know, as fast as possible. See, I almost, I, I, I had to move fast. It, it can be very close when the guys are on your ass. They won't wait to hit you, you know, they'll fucking hit you, kill you. So, yeah, so that was pretty much my strategy. Very hard part, but um, I think that should help players who are having trouble by, you know, putting all those guys in the pit. That was, that was what eventually came to me when I realized there was a pit. So I would say always try to use those and use the environment. And um, the next part is also very hard, but I haven't beaten it yet. But I will be posting it as I, as I beat these segments. I hope you enjoy. Let me know if there's um, anything else you'd like to see in these tutorials. And um, thanks again for watching.